This National Geographic video failed to say if any effort is being made to breed the Japanese bees with the Africanized killer bees that are plaguing the Americas. Insect Wars on Wild. Mandarinia, a giant hornet. Their reach extends across Japan. Their empire reigns in dark, secluded places. Everywhere, mouths to feed. Countless larvae signal their relentless hunger by scratching at the walls of their cells. The grating drives the adult hornets into action. They have to feed the babies. And hornet babies live on flesh, ground into meatballs, delivered by their caregivers. The larvae must feed constantly. So a single scout takes wing, ranging far afield to find fresh meat. At nearly eight centimeters long, giant hornets are superb killers. Sharp talons seize prey. Powerful jaws sever limbs and decapitate victims. Compound eyes detect the slightest movement. And this scout has found a fat, defenseless target. A hive full of mellifera, European honeybees. They arrived during the last century, imported because they produce more honey and are less combative. Because the alien bees didn't evolve with the giant hornets, they have no way to fight and attack. All the bees know to do is mass at the hive entrance. There, they prepare to fight to the death. The hornets are five times the honeybee size and many times more willing to kill. This bee colony is doomed. The victims left to rot. The raiders gorge on honey, even licking it from carcasses. The unborn bees will be chewed into a protein paste and fed to the hornet young. For eons, they have thrived in the giant hornet's deadly shadow. The bees of Serana know the giant hornets send scouts to find their hives. To survive, these Japanese honeybees must capture and kill the hornet scout. And to do that, they have a secret weapon. When they spy their enemy at the gate, the soldier bees pull back slightly. Their waggling signals a sneak attack. They're enticing the hornet to enter the hive. When she takes a few sacrificial targets, the bees attack. In a horde, the defenders rush the hornet scout, enveloping her in a wave of bee bodies. They don't stay. Instead, the bees crowd belly to belly against the invading beast. 
vibrating their abdomens. They create a ball of heat that clasps the hornet at its livid core. It's a battle with narrow margins. The bees can stand temperatures up to 122 degrees. The hornets can only survive to 115. The temperature at the core, 117 degrees. Finally, the flailing and gnashing cease. This hornet won't reveal the secret of their hive's location. The bees have paid a price, but they've saved their home.